The Carolina Panthers getting ready to play their final game of the season. They will not be going to the playoffs, but there's still plenty to play for, including the players who want Steve Wilkes to be named the head coach for next season. The other challenge for Wilkes and the players are dealing with the DeMar Hamlin injury. It's what everyone around the league is talking about, and the players know it's still on everyone's minds, but they have to find a way to get back to work. It's going to be tired, probably tough for a lot of people, you know, but they're going to go out there and flush it. And you know what I mean? But it's not just we're going to not forget about it. You know what I mean? We're going to remember about it. You know what I mean? Try to figure out a way to tackle. You just probably showed him more than, than chess. But um, my prayers go out to him. Well, it will be an emotional day when they kick it off Sunday, 1 o'clock in New Orleans. Meanwhile, college football news, longtime ECU offensive line coach Steve Shankweiler announcing his retirement last week. Shank was in his fourth stint at ECU starting in 1987. He isn't leaving the program altogether. He'll serve in a new role as director of alumni and high school relations, so it'll be great to have him around and he'll have more time to watch his grandson play at north side of Beaufort County. But Mike Houston not wasting any time finding his replacement. Alan Mogridge will join the Pirates. The 21 year college coaching veteran spent the last three seasons at South Florida. Now he's a 1999 UNC grad, so he knows the state. He also spent time coaching at Florida International, Georgia Southern, Central Florida Temple, UNC Buffalo and Western Carolina. College basketball in North Carolina picked up a home win late last night. They beat Wake Forest 88 to 79. Armando Baycott jammed in 21 points. RJ Davis had 27. Now UNC gets into the meat of their season and the heels want to start stepping it up just like they did last year. Just realizing what's in front of us. I mean, it's great that we won this game, but y'all have seen at times we take a deep breath and we just can't take a deep breath because, I mean, I feel like we've probably given away three and four games we should have won, so we really just need to try to take the momentum going and just really keep playing. Defense will be a key. Leaky Black 18 points as well against Wake. The Heels will host Notre Dame Saturday and an 11.30 a.m. tip-off. NC State still reveling in its upset win over Duke. Former Farmville Central High School star Traquadion Smith had 24 points to lead the Wolfpack to the 84-60 win. Honestly, you know, coach always preach about like when we lose, come back and get one. And so happened that Duke was just the next team we played. So you know how that go. He wanted us to play hard and go go after him. The Wolfpack now two and three in ACC League play. They'll try to stack some wins when they head to Virginia Tech Saturday night. Here is your basketball schedule for the weekend so you can plan accordingly. It starts with UNC and Notre Dame 1130 AM Saturday. Duke, ECU, UNC, Wilmington, Wake Forest, NC State all on the road Saturday. But uh, you can catch them all throughout the day if you would like. You can catch the rest of your ENC sports at our website, WCTI12.com. I'm Brian North for News Channel 12.